Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a haul for you and I know I've been doing quite a lot of hauls lately but all the stuff that I've recently picked up I really wanted to share with you guys because I will be sharing with you guys a couple of newer products on the Australian market. So I will quickly jump straight into it and start off with Terry White Chemist. So if you are unaware of what Terry White Chemist sells, it's pretty much a, like I said, chemist and um, they've got a really nice range of makeup there as well. They sell all things from Revlon to Maybelline to Color by TBN which is is what I go there for. They've just got a really nice range of stuff there and I usually go there for my Color by TBN products. They do sell some really nice nail polishes and they've also come out with some new lipsticks as well which I quite enjoy. And um, these retail for $2.50 a piece which is kind of amazing for Australian prices and these are some of the best lipsticks I think I've ever come across. So if you have not tried them, I do highly recommend them. Uh, first shade that I got was eight seventy nine. dollars Hurry Up and Kiss Me and this is just a really nice Christmas red. I won't do swatches on here because I will do a full-on blog post um, of everything that I'm talking about, but it's a really nice pigmented red shade. Um, then I also got a really nice hot pink kind of coral shade, and this is 882 Kiss Me Under the Mistletoe, and this is just a really nice hot pink almost coral shade. So really nice for summer, and we're almost in summer, which I'm not that excited about because I'm usually a winter person, So, but um, I'll always wear the summer lipstick shades. Um, while I was there, they've also selling um, a couple of higher end brands as well so they do stock um Lancome, uh, also Estee Lauder, Clarins and Clinique. I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm like 99% sure that's right. If you do hear thunderstorms, thunderstorms, if you do hear thunder, there is a storm going on at the moment, so just ignore that. Um, but I went past the Lancome uh, little booth, not booth, like a little stand they have there, and they were selling all of their gift sets, which is exciting. So I ended up picking up this one because I thought I'd probably get the most use out of this one out of all of them. And this is just a retailed, uh, retailed. A mascara. I can't even talk. Um, this is just a really nice mascara gift pack that sells a full size of the Hypnose mascara, a travel size of Doll Eyes, uh, Hypnose Drama, and also the Hypnose Star as well. So if you do want to try out some of the more higher end mascaras and you don't want to take the plunge and buy the full size if you don't like it or not, this is definitely a good way to kind of test out those uh, mascaras. And I will have a photo of each of the ones so you guys can kind of see what the ones look like if you do have a particular style of wand that you like. Um, but I really like them all so far. I've tested out all of them and they all seem to work really, really nicely. Uh, Hypno Star is my favorite by far and I've used another travel size. But um, yeah, really good stuff. Retails for $52, which I thought was pretty good. And um, I might get another one and put it in my Christmas giveaway. So yeah, that's exciting. Um, now, if you guys are unaware that NYX is now being sold in Australia, which is kind of a amazing. Um, I really wanted to go in there and actually swatch all of the products that I was after. And I was after all of the butter glosses. So everyone and their mother is talking about them. And I really wanted to jump on this bandwagon because they kind of look amazing. But I was really hesitant because I'm not a huge lip gloss person. But um, I did try these and they all looked beautiful. And they didn't feel sticky or anything. So I ended up purchasing four of them. These retail for $9.95 a piece, which is pretty good considering that we pay around $20 something dollars for a Revlon lip gloss. So um, yeah, really stoked about those. I'll quickly go through the colors. And again, I'm not going to swatch them because everything in the tube is pretty true to color to the actual lip gloss, just in a sheerer version. So the first one that I got is in Peaches and Cream. I do actually have this over a lipstick that I'm going to share with you. Um, really nice color and very, very opaque for this kind of lip gloss. Really, really nice and pigmented. Um, second one that I got is Eclair, and this is a pinky purple. And I was, it wasn't really expecting it to be purple, but um, it's definitely got a purple kind of tinge to it, which I, surprisingly enough, really enjoy but um yeah it's a really nice color and I'm definitely surprised that I like this one as much as I do but I've probably worn that one almost the most out of all of them um then I also got uh creme brulee and this is a really nice nudie kind of pink shade and um the reason that I purchased this one is because I thought I could wear this over any lipstick that I feel is too bright and it will dull it down just a little bit um and add a little bit more of a nudie kind of pink kind of gloss to it. But um, yeah, it works really well over really bright lipsticks as well. It will dull it down just the tiniest bit, but it still looks really nice. So really happy with that one. And the last one that I got is in Apple Strudel, which is a really nice coral shade. And um, this can definitely be sheared out or it can be built up to this intensity as well if you don't mind a couple of layers of lip gloss. But um, it's a really, really nice formula and they smell quite pleasant. 
it smells like something that I would probably eat if it was a food just saying but um yeah really really like those and so they're quite nice and also I ended up picking up another one of my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I knew that these were going to sell out really really quickly so while they were still in stock I ended up picking up just one. I probably should have picked up two but um the NYX Jumbo Pencils literally last me like a lifetime. I'm almost out of my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk which is a tiny little stub. It's about this big and um, whilst they were still in stock I picked up another one. They do retail for $9.95 which I thought was pretty good considering that they last me a lifetime. So yeah, really exciting and I know that a lot of the other products in the NYX stands are quite overpriced but a um, majority of the stuff is pretty decent for Australian prices so definitely worth checking out if you are aware of any of the Gold Coast stores they do sell it at Runaway Bay and also Southport Park I believe so if you are familiar with any of those two stores they do stock it at those, uh, at theirs <laughs> at those stores so that's exciting um, also while I was in Target I ended up picking up a new nude lipstick and so this is from the Kate Moss range in the red tube I'm not too sure what the collection is called but um, these are just really really nice lipsticks and so the reason that I'm after a nude is because it is formal season in Australia right now formal season is right now and formals are next week I believe and so the girls makeup who I am doing for her formal obviously, um, wants a really nice nude shade. So if you guys could help me out and kind of figure out a nude that is way nuder than this, uh, I would really appreciate any help. She's going for more of a matte finish, so if you guys do have any kind of recommendations of a really nice nude, like I mean nude, nude, um, that's matte, I would really, really appreciate any of your help. I will swatch this so you guys can kind of get an idea of what color that I'm going for. So that's what that color looks like. If there's anything nuder than that, I mean like lighter, then um, really, really would uh, just appreciate any suggestions. So let me know in the comments down below if you do know of any other nudes that are matte. So yes, thank you in advance. Um, also, I stopped off at the Essence counter in Priceline and they've got a couple of new products in their line, which is always exciting for me because I love Essence. So they've got a couple of new lip liners and lip, uh, sorry, eyeliners as well. So I picked up one of each. Um, this one's a really nice nude shade. This is in 11 in the nude. It's a really nice kind of darkish nude. I will swatch this so you can kind of get an idea. But it's just a darker brownie nude and I thought this would be great for nude lipsticks. <laughs> anyway, um, and also I picked up a new eyeliner which I will be using as a lip liner. This is in Pretty and Fuchsia and this is just a really nice purple pink. I'll also swatch that one even though I said I wouldn't. Um, but yeah, really nice purpley pink and I can definitely wear this by itself and um, just put a clear gloss on top of it and um, yeah, we're good to go. So really like those, they're around $1.95 each. Um, they've also come out with a couple of new uh, mascaras as well and I picked up one of them. This one I've heard quite good reviews of and this is the Lash Mania Reloaded False Lash Mascara. So a mouthful but it's quite good. So the brush is a plastic wand and it's got a lot of crazy bristles if you can see that. If not I will have a photo of this on my blog. Um, but yeah, really unusual, usual, really unusual wand and it definitely lengthens my lashes quite well. It doesn't volumize whatsoever but it does separate and kind of lengthens really really nicely. So yeah, good stuff. So, um, they've also got a couple of new uh, lipsticks as well to choose from. They've got about 10 shades, which is very exciting considering that Essence isn't the biggest stand in, um, in Priceline. So, for them to have about 10 new lipsticks is really exciting, to me anyway. But I ended up picking up three, and like you can see, they do have the color around the band here, and they're pretty true to color, and also the uh, stickers on the bottom are pretty true to color as well. So, the first one that I've actually got on is eight uh, color crush and this is just a really nice hot pink shade um, like you can see I'm wearing it right now with the NYX uh, butter gloss in peaches and cream really really nice combo it's literally like in the match made in heaven for lip products but this is a really nice pretty hot pink shade and it's perfect for summer um, second shade that I got is more of a neutral tone and I seem to be like magnetically drawn to neutral tones I don't know why um, but this is number seven natural beauty and this is just a really nice berry tone and what you get in this is exactly what you get on your lips it's really nice and pigmented and um, it's just amazing so definitely worth picking up and I've got a hair on me 
really frustrating. And the last shade that I got is number one, Coral Calling. And like the name suggests, it is a really nice coral color. It's got a hint of orange and a hint of red in there. Um, really nice though. So I really like those and definitely check out my blog for swatches of those. Um, and then they've also got some new uh, eyeshadows. Not like I need any more, but I ended up picking up four of the new new eyeshadows. Uh, only thing that I can say is that they have really nice kind of glitter overlay on the top and then you swatch them and then the actual color peeks through after that so you don't get a lot of uh, glitter like it is on the top so if that does scare you away don't worry about it so they do have a really nice color underneath you guys will see them from the eyeshadows that I have played with already but um, I would definitely suggest using Max Studio Fix or some eye drops or just water or something to kind of enhance the color because they're not overly pigmented but they do give a really nice sheen to the lids so uh first shade that i got is frosted apple and this is a really nice pink shade this kind of reminds me of deep throat by nars in an eyeshadow form which is kind of exciting but um a really nice natural pink shade when it's all over the lid um then i also got uh chocolate jewelry which you guys can see here. Here's the swatches that I've done, and then this is the overlay of glitter. So it's got a really nice kind of sheen to it. It's got a really nice gold undertone. It's just a really nice color, and they are really pretty. And the one that I do have on my eyelids today, it's a really, really subtle shade, is uh, Miss Tangerine, and this is a really nice... I just gouged it. I just gouged it. Awesome. Um, Miss Tangerine, really nice kind of orangey natural color. Um, not so much natural, but it's a really nice kind of sheer color, so it looks pretty all over the lid. But um, it looks really nice in the inner tear duct as well. You guys can kind of see the swatch and the original glittery color in there. But um, yeah, really, really happy with the shade. Probably one of my favorites. So my camera just cut out, which is kind of awesome. So like I was saying, I rent, I ended up picking up these Revlon Beyond Natural uh, individual lashes. Like I said, formal season is just around the corner and the girls makeup that I'm doing, I am being, I am going to apply the individual lashes. I think they look a heck of a lot more natural and um, they just look really nice and you can build up the intensity to however uh, intense you want it. So these are really nice. You've got a really nice range of long, medium and short lashes so you can choose which length you want which I thought was pretty good and they were only $10 and also I just picked up the Revlon uh, Precision Lash Adhesive in the little white tube this has a really nice little uh, brush which is going to make my life a heck of a lot easier and easiness is the key so really really happy with that again about $10 which is kind of overpriced but um you know, it was there and I needed it. So that's all I got. And, um, oh, also I picked up two more Essie nail polishes. Um, I ended up getting two more while the two for 20 deal was going on. They don't have the two for 20 deal anymore at the moment, but, um, they do send out, I think vouchers with your paybacks. I think you get $4 off, um, any Essie nail polish, which I think is pretty good. So it'll make it down to about $12.95, which isn't too bad, but, um, I'm just glad that, that was in there just in case but um yeah instead of picking up two more so the treatments were actually included in the two for 20 which i was really happy about so i ended up picking up the fill the gap treatment and it's just a clear kind of nail polish um that fills all the ridges in which is good and i'll definitely need them after i take the acrylics off um because they do leave really nasty ridges in my nails and they're just they're just hopeless. So I'm really, really happy that I ended up getting that because I do have one by Models Prefer and I do really like that, but I'm assuming that the SE one is going to be a heck of a lot better. So really excited to try that. And um, the other one that I got was Lilacism. I think that's how you say it. It's just a really nice kind of periwinkle purpley blue color. So yeah, got those two while they were two for 20. So that's everything that I ended up purchasing. I hope you guys did enjoy this haul. If you have tried any of these products, let me know what your thoughts are. Are on those and if there's anything that you want in a specific kind of review or in a tutorial um just let me know in the comments down below i would be more than happy to do that for you guys because i am now in hd which is so exciting so yes tutorials would definitely be coming but i thought i would start it off with easiness um and do a haul for you guys so if you have tried anything like i said let me know blog posts will be down below as well as all of my social medias but besides that i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys